hey yo hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and welcome to my channel if this is the first video that you're coming across i hope that you stay and i hope that you enjoy it um also make sure you guys stay tuned well not stay tuned actually make sure you check out my previous video that was a day in the life of me working at target in my nine to five so yeah let's get right into this video though so that it's not too long i won't keep y'all too long so we're gonna start off with the application process basically i tailored my resume to um showcase my customer service experience so yeah stuff like that just make sure you really like you know showcase so basically also on your resume if you worked at something like mcdonald's don't just say oh i rap burgers and like very generic sorry my allergies are acting really up acting really up can do acting up really bad right now but don't just say i worked at mcdonald's and i flip burgers and stuff like that there's a better way to say everything so google is your best friend definitely google is your best friend if i can do a little example on the um the screen to oh i flip burgers and i package the food i'll just throw the example on the screen if i remember to do so so just make sure you tailor your resume very well to customer service but target is not you're not going to be flipping burgers so don't just highlight oh i flip burgers i package food up and i did this and there because that's not what you're going to be doing there highlight your customer service experience also in like operations and stuff like that also um once i got finished my application i submitted it yeah, but i let it marinate in their system for a little while and then i went ahead and called them so when i called them i did ask now you got to put your customer service voice on y'all do not just say hi um yeah i um i put my application in so when am i going to get a call back be be more professional in the call because you know just because it's a little target job you know little store and it's not like oh corporate technically be just still be professional about it so you can say something like hi my name is kendall um i applied for the overnight inbound position on monday and um i would like to know what is your turnaround time for this position Make it known that you already applied. Do not call before you apply. Apply first and then call. I let my application sit in the system for about two days. So they had it and I called. Then I realized I accidentally applied to the wrong place. So I called the right place, but I applied to the wrong place. So they said, just call the other place and see if it can be transferred over. When I say apply to a couple of targets in your area, definitely do that. I'm just checking the time because I have to go to work in a little bit. But um, definitely apply to a couple of different targets because people are rude unnecessarily. And I know the place that I called that I actually applied for by accident. If the HR is rude, I don't want no dealings with them at all. I called the um, other place. Mind you, this HR lady was nice. But the other lady, I was like, hi, my name is Kendall. Mind you, keep it professional at all times, even if you don't want to work there. Hi, my name is Kendall. Um, I was just calling in regards to my application before I could finish the rest of my sentence. She was like, oh, yeah, if you were calling about your resume, um, your resume or application, um, just know that we have a system. It is really backed up with a lot of applicants. Um, and just know that, like, she's going this fast. Just know that um, if you did apply um, early on, if you apply this week, um, we may not be getting back to you for a couple of weeks or a couple of, um, maybe a month. But we are checking um, daily to really kind of, um, you know, respond to everybody and this and the third, this and the third, this and the third. So if, does that answer all your questions? Hi, ma'am. Um, my name is Kendall again, and I just wanted to see if I can have my application switched over to another location. That's all I was calling about. Oh, um, no, you're going to have to go in the system. So if you do mess up like that and you accidentally um, apply for the wrong location, just go ahead and go in the system. And you won't have to reapply, like do the entire thing over again. If you try to go for a different location and your application is already in the system, it'll automatically say, would you like to copy? I think it said, would you like to copy your application? So that's what I really did like is that I didn't have to do the entire process over again. Right when I um, transferred over to the right place, I let it sit for two hours just to make sure it's all the way in the system called them back you want them to remember you you want them to remember you but don't call them every day because then they get annoyed by you you know so hi my name is kendall i just wanted to follow up um i did speak to somebody in the hr department this morning um in regards to my application um i accidentally sent it over to the wrong location but it is it should be in your system now 
may I please leave my name, number, and my phone, my name, number, and my email address so that you can follow up with me on whether or not you receive that um application. Thank you so much. They thank you so much is after they say what they need to say. So then, um, yeah, after that is done, she took my name and everything. And after that was done, I gave it about a week. I didn't give it about a week, but it went about a week in. Well, after I gave them that call and I received an email saying that um, they wanted me to do the interview. So they, yeah. So you have an interview and you get about three tries. So that first try is you trying to figure out what type of answer you need to be given. It be questions like, okay, so how do you react to an angry customer? Um, give me a situation. Give me a situation. What, if I can really remember, I think it was give me a situation where you excelled in how did you, like, how did you start? It's something like that. But this is how I did it. Your first question, your first try, go ahead and try to see how you can work the question, like how you should be answering. Your second try, go ahead and try to answer to your best abilities. Your third try is your last try, and that should be you just altering what you said in the second try. That's how I did it. Um, I did it when I was younger, and I actually didn't get a call back. And I already know why, because I was extremely nervous. So definitely don't do it until you are in a quiet place and you can just shake the nerves off. Shake the nerves off because at the end of the day, you're either going to get it or you're not. So just do the best you can. So um, after that, I got a call about two, no, was it? I don't think it was two weeks. I think it was about a week and a half. I got a call about a week and a half and she was saying that, oh yeah, we would like you on our team um, and we would like to set you up for orientation. So, um, after I got set up for orientation, actually I couldn't make it to the first one because I had my nine, my nine to five. So I couldn't make it at 12 o'clock on a Wednesday because my nine to five pays more than that one. So I wasn't going to miss out on money, but anyway, yeah. So she sent me up for the end of the month when my orientation actually came. The orientation was very, it was very quick. It was about an hour and a half. We did, um, we watched some videos we took a tour of Target and we also, what did we do? We set up our like payment, our payment types and stuff like that. Like if you wanted to go to your check-ins or whatever have you. And we got our numbers as well for our discount and just the clock in and stuff. Also for your orientation, I believe the dress code was either khakis and a red shirt or it was denim jeans and a red shirt something like that so yeah after the orientation uh my first day well your first day is going to be all paperwork well all trainings not paperwork your paperwork should have been done beforehand but it's going to be all trainings um yeah now my day was a little bit different on my first day you can go and check that video out um where i mentioned that it'll be linked in the cards but yeah i definitely did do trainings did a little bit of work and came back and do trainings i was a little ghetto but it was cool it was still cool because i really didn't want to do them trainings after your first day it depends on what position you're in um i was shipped but actually my original position was supposed to be stocking but um i went to ship now ship is going to be you picking prepping and packing so picking you're going to um, say there's like a bra or something on. No, we're not going to say a bra. We're going to just do one example. So say you have this Palmer's cocoa butter spray. We're not going to make it too complicated. And it's on like C12. You have to go find that aisle. I don't want to get too into it because y'all don't really know what that means. Or maybe you do, but that's the aisle name. That's the aisle name. And then it'll also give you the bar and stuff like that. So that's pick. You have to find the item. Pick. It might be in the front. It might be in the back. You just have to find it. Now, prepping is anything with an open container like this that can possibly leak. Um, if you got it from Target, it should come with a seal. So it should come with a piece of tape. And then it also should come into an ESM bag. I think that's the name for it. But it should come into a thick plastic bag. So that nothing leaks on any other items you may have in the package. So that's prep. Pack is you just literally what the name is. You put it in a box, put it in a bag, 
and put the label on it and send it out that's what i did picking is the worst part because it's like tedious and it might be one bra in the entire store and it might not be in the section that it needs to be it might not be in the front or the back and it might not even be on like and then you gotta look in dressing rooms and stuff like that so i really didn't like i don't really like pick now after you get into your day to day stuff um i can say also with what is it called stocking is actually the best position you can be in because all you gotta do is get your pilot and go into your section and you can literally tune out like you can tune out but with prepping, prepping and stuff like that, like you can't really tune out and stuff like that because you can't tune out if you're very new to it because you just don't know anything yet. Um, and it's hard, especially the picking part. Now, let's get into the pros and cons. Pros and cons. Let's go to the pros first. Pros is that um, I feel like if you have the right type of management, well, let's say supervisor, well, really work with the time that you give them. Um, you get a one hour break. Was it our break and overnight? My fault. It is not no hour break. You get two 15-minute breaks and then an hour break. Um, I keep saying hour break because I'm thinking about my 9 to 5. I'm sorry. You get a 30-minute break and two 15-minute breaks. Um, and then also, you can also get stuff overnight because they leave a drawer open in self-checkout so that you can um, get stuff there. So, another pro would have to be that, yeah, the supervisor was very nice. I like the people that I met. Um, the job itself could have been easier, but a lot of the cons revolved around this one manager that I just don't really have no care for in the world. People like that will make your day bad. Uh, people like that make their day bad. Um, and they make you not, especially when the money is not necessary, it'd be like... Don't make me quit this job because this, this is about to get on my nerves. Especially if it's... <coughs> oh, no. I might be coming down. So. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Especially um, with people who just come in angry. So, that was the one manager. She always came in angry. That was literally the only con, though. She always came in angry. Um, it's probably a couple other cons that I really can't think about right now. I just didn't like picking at all. I just don't like picking. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of pros. You get, a, what, 10% off? I think it's 10 or 15% off. And then you know you get an extra percent off for like health and stuff like that, health and wellness. Then if you have your red car, you also get a percentage off. Um, yeah. Pros, you also find new stuff. I promise, there's a couple of items in my home um, that I bought. That I wouldn't have found if I hadn't worked there because I don't, I go to Target, but I don't, I know what I want from Target. Like, <clears throat> sometimes I look around, but I don't really look around too deep. But when you work there, it's like, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Another con is that you will spend your money so fast. Like, you'd be like, oh, let me get this. Let me get this little chair. Let me get this little something. Because it's stuff you already want. And now it's just in your face. But anyway, yeah, that was my video on how I got into Target, the application process, orientation, day-to-day. -day. A little couple pros and cons, not really too much, not really too much. If I have a couple more, I'll just throw them on the screen right here. But, okay, so that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Stay tuned for the next one. See y'all.